All right, uh, hi guys. Uh, welcome to our channel. It's called Mansplaining. I'm George Allman. And I'm Shannon Mansfield. So we wanted to have a, a YouTube channel for a while now. Lots of our friends have just been asking us to, to give financial advice over the years or like weightlifting, workout advice. Uh, I know I get a lot of that and you, you've kind of said that too. You know, we, we're trying to just get some good info out to our friends and family as well. So the first question is, we get this a lot, I think, uh, is let's say I'm working, you know, you have a 40 hour job or you're full time college student. You don't have the time and money to buy all the supplements and you really can't do the meal prep, it's hard. So what do you, what do you give a guy that, that has like maybe three, three sessions at the gym a week? Right, I mean, my suggestion to somebody that starts out is don't just dive right into, you know, five, six days a week anyway. Mm -hmm. I think three days is, is a good number for somebody that's starting out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I would suggest as far as your workout routine goes, just getting your muscles into that, like, you know, repetition. You should do maybe like a chest and triceps, back and biceps, and shoulders and legs split every other day or whenever you go. So that's what I did whenever I started out. And um, I mean, it's just, you're you're gonna be sore. Your, you, your muscles aren't used to those sort of exercises. So three days is a good way to start out. Anyway, you know, 45 minutes and that was, is that hour. like, you know, it's like your job. Oh, I just did my three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Am I good? Yeah. Yeah. Did I just do whatever I want now. Yeah. I mean, it's, as long as you're, you know, not like, I mean, as far as diet goes, like you don't want to just be sitting on the couch eating cheeseburgers mm -hmm. every night, you know, I, if you don't have, you know, the time or money to meal prep, you know, you still want to eat healthy. Um, eating healthy is like cheap you know people think it's cheaper to eat out it's not in mm -hmm. reality um, there's plenty of ways to get sort of your healthy foods in um, you just gotta ask yourself what your goal is um, you know is it to lose weight gain muscle um, those are all questions that play in to your routine so and I, I think that's hard I, I, I started working out because I, I wanted to get bigger you know, I, I played basketball in high school and middle right. school, and I was always skinny. I was the tall, skinny kid, which right. I still am skinny. It's very hard for me to put on a lot of weight. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of motivation. I just, I want to be stronger. I want to be a little wider. And yeah. to a certain point, I've kind of gotten there. I'm definitely put on strength. I mean, I, I did start lifting when I was 15. Right. I saw my first Rocky movie. Uh, <laughs> they were on Netflix, so I just watched all of them right. in like a week. And I was drinking raw eggs, eating rice and chicken, just eating chicken. No idea how to meal prep. I'm just like, you know, Rocky's eating chicken and rice right. and eggs, and that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, and I was different than that. Like, I was overweight, so mm -hmm. I wanted to lose weight first and then build muscle after that. But it is important to not, like when you're just starting out to not burn yourself out. A lot of people burn themselves out at the gym, they'll go for a month and they'll quit because they're trying to eat fucking, you know, raw broccoli mm -hmm. and, you know, dry chicken. You know, you need to fit your, you know, workout routine and your diet in some way and a way that you'll succeed at it. Don't burn yourself out. Um, I mean, eventually down the road, if you want to, you know, get into bodybuilding and, and actually like look like, a, you know, pro, whatever it is, mm -hmm. yes, you're going to have to start going five, six days a week and you are going to have to eat dry chicken, broccoli and stuff, but starting out, it's not necessary. So for question two, I want to ask, how do you, how do you now nutrition this, this, uh, new, uh, schedule you're on? How do you, uh. How do you keep up the energy? Are, what are you eating different? What are you taking out of your diet? Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you're trying to lose weight, uh, I would suggest like leaner meats, chicken, turkey, you know, stay away from bacon, pork, mm -hmm. you know, beef, you can't have it. But um, yeah, if you're trying to lose weight, stick to those leaner meats, um, egg whites over regular eggs. Um, so, but again, like getting back to it, like you want to set yourself up for success. Don't, you know, just like you need to cheat a couple of days a week in my opinion you know it you know maybe like wednesday sunday whatever but 
you know, as long as you're not, you know, cheating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, just kind of find, there's plenty of plans online mm -hmm. that you can get for free. You can use a trainer. I've used trainers for my meal plans. Um, I think that's a good way to go, but it's expensive. So if you're on a budget, plenty of YouTube videos, you know, just Google meal plans for losing weight or gaining weight, whatever you want. Um, plenty of plans out there for, you know, you'll, you'll see YouTube videos you can eat for $50 a week if you want. So, and I think like our goal here is to kind of condense some of that for you. Uh, so in the future, I, I am going to cover more of that nutrition side and he is going to cover more of like our, our fitness gym video side. Uh, we're still going to do collabs just we kind of branch off. I know a little bit more about supplements, whereas he's learned a little more form in the gym. Right. So yeah. I mean, at that. I'm on the diet side of like, I don't eat for taste anymore. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of my stuff just tastes really it's bad. It's disgusting. Yeah. Some stuff of the stuff he's cooking like, up, just disgusting. Yeah. So um, I've just gotten to that point. If any of you are at that point, you know, I have plenty of meal plans for that, but. Um, yeah, I'm, again, I'm an amateur out. wannabe chef, so I like to taste yeah, a lot of exactly. food. I cook. I I really like cooking. It's right. one of my hobbies. He just I'm either eating it, it yeah, I'm eating it raw or if it can't be raw, it's it's cooked very fast. So can still make I mean when he tries, good yeah. good bro you're making good breakfast sometimes. <laughs> it's just it's, when he's just going for it, it's rough. It's pretty rough. Uh so on my side of it at least diet if if you that's kind of like you're you know you're slow if you never started anything and you're sloping up yeah you're gonna need some cheat meals because you're gonna get down you're gonna get a little sick just control the cheat meals don't make them impulsive have them planned out you know if you want to have a that cheat meal be like okay Wednesday and Friday night are my cheat meals uh, when I was when I was in the Navy I would always plan my cheat meals around Friday and Saturday night because guess what I'm going out, I'm in, I'm in Honolulu, I'm gonna go to the bar, I'm gonna eat nachos, I'm gonna eat burgers. So at least I plan my cheat meals those days. Monday through Thursday, Sunday afternoon, I'm, I'm eating more lean and, and for performance based. But I know that weekend's coming and I'm gonna go out, so plan for success and, and kind of staple that in. Right. And also don't starve yourself. Yeah. Like a lot of people think, oh, if I just, you know, if I eat one salad a day, you know, I'm going to look amazing. That's not how you want. You're not going to have any energy. Mm -hmm. It's not good for your body. You do want to eat. And you're going to crash. Yeah. You're, you're going to, or break down. I mean, honestly, I think like you, sh I think everybody should eat like four times a day. Mm -hmm. Now I think our meals are too big. I think you need to eat smaller portions, but spread out through the day. You have a lot more energy that way. And, and it's just, that's healthier for your body, in my opinion, especially for working out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, again, if you're getting into, you know, advanced bodybuilding like me, you, you might need to eat seven times a day, you know, small portions, but that just keeps your metabolism going and that's the right way to do it. So. Well, I don't, I, I, there's very few situations, maybe besides uh, if you're in, in school, you can do it in college. They have the three meals a day, prison or the military. I don't know any other jobs uh, that really give you that opportunity to have three sit-down meals a day. Right. I think any job, you're kind of like a construction. Yeah. I uh, mean, you're going to have your breakfast, obviously, before work. You'll get a lunch break if you work eight hours, and then you'll have dinner. If, um, if you plan that breakfast, that bre you've got to get up early. Yeah, you need to get up. Yeah. cook. Yeah. Something. But even, you know, not meals. If you can't do meals, do, do some sort of protein shake or something mm -hmm. throughout the day. Um, or, you know, eat a little snack before bed. Um, eating before bed, that's another myth, is it's, you're gonna put on fat, that's not true. As long as you're at like a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight, or if you're trying to gain weight, um, the other way around, so. No, that's not to say like you should plug down some hot wings five seconds. No, 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 we're still talking healthy food, food like, here. Yeah, you know, even, even then it's like, kind of watch what you're eating at night, you know, you don't wanna right. have you know, heartburn or, you know, you got you got to watch it. You got to take care of yourself. Eat stuff that promotes good sleep. Right. Uh, and I, I can kind of cover that more on my yeah. nutrition videos. Uh, one thing I would say in in regards to like the morning time, I don't really do food in the morning. 
I just, I, I'm not hungry. I'm not in the mood for it. I, I shower and I kind of have my, you know, my morning, my morning routine. I take my vitamins and I'll take like some, you know, like vitamin C or some vitamin water to kind of just warm me up for the day. My, my body usually takes like an hour before I start craving or want to eat. So, and, and if you're that way, don't, don't force it. You don't really have to force your, yourself to eat in the morning, but right. you know, just make sure you're getting some nutrition at some point, right? especially with that workout plan, because you're, you're already sleeping. Like you said, eating before bed doesn't make you fat. You're sleeping for eight hours. Your metabolism is running. Uh, your kidneys are flushing at night and you're still going to burn a lot of glucose while you sleep. And most American diet bodybuilding types, unless you're on a keto diet, your muscles are built up out of glucose storage. So at night, when your kidneys flush, your body starts burning sugar and it finds that readily available in your muscle mass, which is where it attacks it first. So eating something, you know, with a little bit of fruit sugar or even just a, like, you know, a good protein meal, maybe like a tuna packet before bed or like an hour before bed is still okay. Uh, number three, another thing we're both passionate about and want to talk to you guys about is finances. This is something our generation seems, in our opinion, to be lacking a lot of education on. You, you learn and take care of your money issues first, you know, learn about that to set yourself up for success. Money's not everything, but you need it down here, bud. So it comes in handy. Yeah. <laughs> so question number three, let's say I'm a, you know, 16, 17, 18 year old. It's my first job. I'm working at Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A. Uh, average is around here going like nine bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour, something like that nationwide. So what's, what's your, what are you doing with that money? You still live with mom and dad. They, they pay 95% of your bills. What, what do you do with that money? Yeah. I mean, my number one thing starting off with people that are kind of getting into any sort of investing type situation is Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. Somebody controls it. Um, if you want them to, um, and it, it's just very simple. You put in a monthly amount and on average, each dollar that you put in in your 20s is worth $20 when you're 60. So easy way to compound money. Um, it's very you know basic. And then from there, you can work your way into possibly more advanced stuff, stocks, you know, mm -hmm. any of that that stuff. Starting out, uh, I mean, I always suggest it's it's not as big a deal when you're young, but. Uh, having an emergency fund is always good in a bank account. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're 16, 17, 18, you got mom and dad around, or, you know, even if you don't, maybe, maybe they're not covering 95% of your bills. It's, it's good to put away as much of that as you can. Uh, don't let lifestyle creep, uh, work its way in. I understand that there's, there's all this new stuff out here and everyone wants to keep up with the Joneses or keep up with the TikTok stars now as it is it our, on our age group. I would say just kind of minimize your lifestyle until you get into that. Maybe you don't need the new iPhone or, you know, the car payment. Don't live outside of your lifestyle. That's, that's my number one tip. If you can't buy it twice, don't, don't buy it. <laughs> So, uh, like we said in the uh, in the intro, I'm George. I'm Shannon, and we got some good content coming for you guys. You know, maybe if if you just hate it, just leave a bunch of thumbs down. We'll know what what we're doing. We'll just fuck off immediately right. from once we came. <laughs> uh, no, but for real, guys, if if you have any suggestions, I know our our setup right here, our studio is a little lax right now. We're we're still getting some things together. We just moved yeah. to Florida, so. Uh, once we kind of get settled more, we'll, we'll have a little higher production value, but right now we're just focusing on the content and we've got a lot of good info for everyone. And, uh, you know, if you like it, throw us that subscribe, let us keep growing and, uh, give us some likes. Got any, uh, closing for the crowds? No, not at all. I mean, like you said, if you have any questions, send them to my, to us because that's going to help us. Uh, produce content as well. We love questions, so absolutely.